Today we're here, as you can see in the background, uh, in relation to the Royal Australian Air Force's uh, fleet of six E7A wedge-tail aircraft. Uh, and it's a very significant day because they've achieved their final operational capability, which gives us one of the most capable battle space management aircraft in the world. Uh, they reached this milestone this month with entire capability, uh, which ranges from uh, physical aircraft to logistics management, sustainment uh, facilities and training. And so they're now fully operational and able to support ongoing operations. Uh, in fact, we were quite confident of reaching this milestone because these aircraft have been operating uh, in Iraq uh, for the last few months. Uh, they've been deployed on Operation Okra in the Middle East and, in fact, have done over 100 surveillance sorties uh, with our coalition partners flying, flying over uh, 1,200 hours. And, indeed, uh, on two of these sorties, these aircraft flew for more than 16 hours, which is a very significant achievement in itself. These aircraft significantly enhance the effectiveness of our existing uh, naval, army and air force and civil surveillance agencies. They help to maintain uh, the advanced technological capacity that we have in this country. These uh, aircraft have been tailored to meet the specific requirements uh, of the Royal Australian Air Force with six Boeing 737 aircraft, uh, as you've seen inside, modified to be able to undertake these very sophisticated missions. I'd like to congratulate uh, the Air Force, particularly uh, Number 2 Squadron, uh, the Defence Material Organisation and the industry partner Boeing for the hard work over quite a number of years uh, from the start of this idea to have this sort of aircraft available for Australia to a point where we've now reached the fully operational capability of the aircraft and not only done that uh, in testing uh, and in trials but we've actually done it in reality and uh, now in Operation Okra uh, in the Middle East and on that note I'd like to invite uh, Leo Davies to say a few words, the Chief of the Air Force. Minister, thank you very much. Uh, to Senator Seselja, uh, welcome. To uh, Member for Solomon, welcome. Uh, to Maureen Doherty, Boeing, thank you very much for, uh, for being here. Uh, yet this is a very uh, important occasion, reaching the full operational capability. And I almost said there in FOC you could say final operational capability, but that's simply not true, as, as I'll mention as we, as we go through. Uh, we, we are here to tell a story. Uh, 10 or 11 years ago, we did not have an airborne early warning and control aircraft and now we do, and I would offer to you that it is uh, one of the best airborne early warning control capabilities in the world today. It started out with uh, really a thought that we needed to be able to have an integrated uh, air capability, a, a picture that we could show to our fighters, but we've grown much more from that now to having something that is controlling everything that flies and seeing a lot of things on the ground in the Middle East right now. So we've gone through a number of major exercises. We've proven the capability. And that has been largely a team effort. Uh, uh, the minister mentioned two squadron have learnt how to how to fly the aeroplane. 42 uh, wing, uh, they they know how to operate it. We've got SRG. We have Boeing, Northrop Grumman. I'd like to say DSDO played a large part in getting this aircraft up to the specification it is. It's not just about the performance of the radar. It's not about the performance of the systems on board. It is also about how much work the Royal Australian Air Force members have done to get the system to work properly. It has been uh, an amazing uh, advancement over a relatively short time and for us this has been a true part of what we now need to take forward as part of Plan Jericho. It will be an important uh, centrepiece for us as we get to integrate all of the capabilities that both the uh, Air Force and the rest of the ADF need for the future.